Hi, it's David here with a QNAP TS221 uh, NAS, which I'm just going to show you how to install hard drives into the unit and also open up the unit so you can see inside and also change the internal fan if needed. Now this is the front of the unit, we've got two drive bays. Um, to get into the drive bays it's fairly simple, just pull it up and then pull it out. As you can see these are empty at the moment and I'll install a couple of hard drives in there and then slot them back in. Same with the second bay. Um, if you put it in the wrong way you'll see you'll, it won't actually clip in so you can tell it's the wrong way and and then we can just pull it out and plug it back in the correct way. Now on the front here we've got the on off button, a file or a backup sort of button, a USB connection socket then we've got LEDs, the top ones for the hard drive one, hard drive two, the LAN and eSATA. Um, on the back we've got the fan, eSATA connectors, two USB 3 connectors, an ethernet connector and power. Now as I said uh, we, I'm going to install a couple of hard drives, fairly easy, just remove each of the actual drive bays or drive cages. Um, if you have a look on the drive cage, it probably won't come out too well on the video. But we've got the four screws for three and a half inch drives, and also you've got two extra here um, for the two and a half inch drive. So this uh, model will fit both the um, three and a half and two and a half inch drives. Now I've just got a couple of um, Western Digital Red hard drives. Um, they just slot in and then just line up the screw holes and screw them in. Um, I'll just take a second to do that. Now um, when you open up your unit you'll probably see a couple of bags like this which are the screws. So you just grab some of the screws and screw the drives in. Now it's fairly simple this little bit. It just takes a little bit on camera so sorry about the delay. So screw in the four holes or four screws. Now once they're screwed in, you can get the unit back and just make sure it's the right way because like that is not the right way. So just turn it around, slot it in and then just make sure it clips in and then click the socket down. Same with the other drive bay, just remove it, pop in, uh, the SATA connections are here so just make sure they're uh, facing the rear of the drive bay and then screw in the four holes. So that's fairly straightforward to do. Just make sure they the holes all line up. Yeah, it looks like I'm missing one of the black screws so I'll have to find that at the end. So as I said, screw them all in and then pop it back into the drive. Uh, by itself and get it the right way around. Also you probably can't see, oh you can just, you can see the sockets right down the bottom of the unit there and also the fan up the top just there. Um, just, so just slot it in and then make sure it's in right and click it in. Now to actually get into the unit there's four screws at the back or three screws I should say, one, two and three. One's hidden under that little sticker. So just remove those screws. So I'm just getting into the unit to show you the insides and also show you how to replace the internal fan here. So this bit can be quite stiff, depends on how many times it's been removed and how tight it is. As you can see, it's not coming off easily. So just slot it back. Got it this time. No, it's being a pain. There we go, one side's off, and there's the other side. So, as you can see, it doesn't come off nice and easy, so you just have to give it a bit of a force. And here we've got the inside of the unit, we've got one side and the other side with the main board and everything there. So that's the main board, it's protected by a little plastic cover 
and in there you can probably see a heat sink and the other bits and pieces now here we've got the fan if it gets blocked or doesn't work anymore what you can do is remove four screws here one two three four that'll pop out and then we've got the power connector which goes into there see that little white thing with the cables at the top so you can just pop that out unscrew the four things pop the fan out put a new fan in and away we go so there we have it there's the how to install hard drives into the QNAP TS221 and also how to get into it to replace the internal fan if needed thank you for watching